Well, now that we have some images that are, are in fact open, and in fact now that we know how to open up some of those images, there's a couple of things I do want to explain to you and show you how to work with. Here I've just opened up an image called Salt and Pepper. It doesn't really matter what image you happen to have open. And what I do want to discuss with you is how we can zoom in on a number of different images. Very simple uh, and easy ways that we can do that. Right now you'll notice that the percentage of my um, value here, um, and this is specifically uh, what percent you are zoomed in. We have 100% of our image, that's exactly what it looks like. However, if we wished, we could have made this 200%, and as you can see, it just gets larger when you do that. You can scroll through your image uh, using uh, your scroll bar, uh, down here or up here, but I just want to make clear a couple of other things that you can do with zooming in on your image. And um, one of the easiest things to do is to work with the shortcuts Command Plus or Control Plus on a PC. And as you can see, when you do that, it allows you to zoom in on those images. How much can we zoom in? 3200%. That's really, really tight. And as you can see, it creates this grid of sorts um, based on all of the pixels that you have in the image. Command minus, on the other hand, zooms out. And as you can see, we are continuing to zoom out. And if I were to continue getting smaller, you would see that my window just gets smaller and it's revealing bridge underneath here. But if I set this to a different screen mode by pressing F, you can see that I'm not disturbed by the background. And here, Control Plus will zoom in, Control Minus will zoom out. You can see the values up here at the top. So um, those are really simple and easy shortcuts to remember. Do remember this as well. If I were zoomed in on this, you'll notice that my image is taking up a considerable amount of my screen. What if I want to move around this screen now, and especially in this particular screen mode, you see if I was to go through the different modes, in the first mode where we see our buttons up at the top, certainly you can use these scroll bars to move around as I had mentioned. But, you know, depending on which mode you're in, now I don't see those scroll bars because I pressed F. I'm in a different screen mode. Well, how do you work in this space? Well, here's a great shortcut, and it works in any Adobe platform. Press the space bar, and you'll notice that your cursor, right over here, is going to be turned into a hand, which allows you to move the canvas. And you'll see there's a nice little, you know, um, animation movement here that allows it to slow down a little easing on that movement but notice this is really really great you can move around your canvas you can continue working at this zoomed in environment and I can you know do my selections and whatever else I need to do and just press spacebar to move it around a little bit more spacebar again do your work so get used to that it's a very very easy thing to remember and a great trick that helps you to move around in your environment. Here's some other great tricks as well. You can press Command 1 and that'll bring you back to 100% as you can see here. And all of these are found under the View menu. So zoom in, Command plus, zoom out, Command minus. Actual pixel size, you know, 100%, Command 1. But look at this, fit on the screen, Command 0. So if your screen has the possibility of supporting a larger environment, you'll notice here my, my zoom level is actually set to 116. If you're on a higher um, resolution than I am, you probably have even more than this, and you're zoomed in a considerable amount more than I am. Just remember another thing is that when you're not at 100%, well, you might start to see some pixelization happening with your images, right? So everything's getting all pixelized. You can see that there's some artificing around the edges here. That's because this is not a super high quality image. It's only 72 pixels per inch, right? So keep that in mind as well. So, nevertheless, if I press Command-1, I go back to 100%, or Control-1 on the PC, of course. And what else you can see is that um, the different modes here are the ones that I was mentioning, right? So standard screen mode is this one, but the F key will allow you to s select through those views, right? The different screen modes. And um, there are a number of other things that we'll get to in these views um, once we need to see them. But as you can see here, they're all pretty much um, 
easy zooming in and out information. Here is the first tool that I'm showing you is the zoom tool, by the way. And this one allows you to zoom in very, very specifically to an area. For example, let's say I wanted to target this little granule of salt right there. I can click and drag, and you'll notice that in doing so, and clicking and dragging out, will zoom out. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So you can click and drag to zoom in, or you can click down to zoom out. So just going back and forth like this, zooming in, zooming out. And it's a really easy way of sort of um, creating your zooms. You could just click directly right on the object. And as you can see, I'm zooming in directly on this granule of salt right here. If I were to continue by pressing the Option or Alt key on a PC, you'll notice that the plus sign that was here a second ago is now gone and it's been converted into a minus sign just like that and now I have a smaller screen as I do here but remember I could just zoom in right there by dragging or just by clicking so just clicking along allows me to zoom in right on that granule of salt command 1 back to 100 percent or command 0 back to fit it inside the screen notice here with the zoom tool you also have all these other ones as well, actual pixels, one-to-one, uh, -one, that's 100%, fit it in the screen, fill the screen, completely fill the screen. Print size uh, will show you, you know, at 100% when it's printing. So all of these things will allow you to work with the zoom tool, as well as without the zoom tool, you can also uh, just go to the view menus right over here. So a lot that you can do with magnification, and don't forget, pressing spacebar allows you to move around that canvas and get in a lot closer. So we're going to continue now with another set of tutorials in just a second.